this afternoon I'd like to just run through a particular application of uh, the PIP technology which is using it to explore the properties in and around welds. Now of course welds are uh, very important in terms of their mechanical properties uh, and those properties vary quite sharply with position in the vicinity of the weld. So uh, being able to get a proper stress strain curve from individual regions of a weld is an important objective and very difficult to obtain by conventional uniaxial testing. PIP, of course, does have good spatial resolution. We, we can get mechanical properties, and by that I mean proper stress strain curves, not, not hardness numbers. And we can get that with a resolution of around a millimetre or so. Perhaps I could also just mention that this uh, particular project, studying this, these welds, uh, was carried out in collaboration with the Swansea University, who did some microstructural examinations, uh, and with the Welding Institute uh, at Abington, uh, where, of course, um, they have a lot of experience in producing welds. So this is, this is a commercially produced pair of welds that we were studying in this project. So as you've just heard, PIP is well suited to obtaining full stress drain properties on a resolution that cannot be achieved using conventional uniaxial testing. So on this sample here, which is actually one that we used in a recent publication, we've been able to map the change in properties from the weld through the heat vected zone and into the parent metal. So on this plot of the UTS and the yield stress at each of the points that we've indented, we can see a change in properties very slightly as we go towards the zone that's affected by cooling due to the parent metal and in the heat affected zone of the parent metal. And finally, we end up in the parent metal itself. So once you've done this, uh, you can actually start putting individual stress strain curves for regions of the weld into, say, an FE model. And then you can start uh, simulating how it will behave under service loading conditions and start uh, to understand how it might uh, start to plastically deform uh, and, and regions might start to get um, uh, high strain concentrations and then you might start to get fracture and that kind of problem. So uh, this is a good example of uh, using the capabilities of PIP for an industrially important application.